All right. So, starting another game today. Final Fantasy 13 because I lost all of my saves for Final Fantasy 7. Great. So, with a newly optimized stream also, so that way I have you know, 720p, 60 frames per second. Everything goes pretty swell. So, let me turn on audio here. Oh, why is it so low? Okay, cool. Awesome. Do I need to turn the volume up more? Or is that... No, we'll, we'll figure it out. Cool! Gotta fix some settings here. I did test this a couple times on YouTube just to see... To a private stream. Just to see, you know, running between my office and my, uh... Living room. To, uh, see what I can do with the, uh... Um... Encoding options. So, I do not want anything inverted. Heck no. Um, and I am using an Xbox controller. <coughs> so, I will be doing this on easy mode. Specifically because I don't like unnecessarily challenging games. So, all right. All right. So, the experience I have with this game so far, I played it for a very short while. Um, and it... The 13 days after we awoke, for the beginning... <laughs> Of the end. It was all right. Let me uh, let me check my thing here because I don't know. If... Yeah, I can't record at the same time. That's fine. Um, I'll just pull it off Twitch and put it on YouTube. Um, my experience with this game is not terribly large because I started playing it. And I never really... It really didn't hook me. But then I watched a huge amount of... Um... You serious? Be quiet. A huge Let's amount look. of... Just discussion on it. To see what, what it was about and what... Um, what it really had to offer, because I only played a tiny bit. So I have... Pl I, I did play this for about an hour or two hours into the game, so not very far. It just didn't grip me. You alright? I'm out of the sea. These FMVs are beautiful, though. So far, so good. They all want to fight. Good for them. Cool. I'm excited to actually play through this. Because it... There's a lot to the game that you can't totally get Give me that. just from... Uh, just from watching... Um, or just from playing through. You have to read a lot about it. You have to... Um, You have to go above and beyond to actually understand it, is what I've heard, because of the, the data logs.
Alright. So, first thoughts. I have no clue what's going on at all right now. But we'll see, we'll figure it out. They were basically prisoners, I guess, going towards whatever. And now they're not. a pretty seamless, uh... Do I really need the tutorial? Probably not, but I'm gonna fix something really quickly. I just wanna see. So I had some skip frames, but that was only when I was recording at the same time. Um... Um... What was I double-checking? Oh, what I was doing. Okay, that sounds good. because there really isn't a whole lot to this uh, battle system. There can be, but I choose to make it not. Specifically because I just don't like... I I'm not a gameplay person. I'm just I never have been. So I will be, um, this first stream I will be looking over here a lot just to see what my, uh, what my CPU is looking like. Just because it is right around 90%, so... sort of took it away from being active but I wouldn't even I don't even know what I'd call this battle system it's not like most of the other ones you're like at 12 you can run around and do whatever that's just like basic action system um, whereas uh, you look at the other ones like Final Fantasy one through six are all just turn-based. Seven is turn-based. Eight, nine. They're all well. They're all active. Seven, eight, nine are active. Then ten. Ten has the absolute best battle system I've ever done. Eleven was an MMO, so I don't really know anything about eleven, almost at all. I know it's an underrated soundtrack. I know that much. But um, I don't know. I love how they just have to throw it in your face that you did easy mode. Thanks, game. supposed to protect civilians, soldier? I mean, you are sanctum, aren't you? 
Okay. Really? You know, I... See, I don't know a lot about this game. I just want... I, I'm... There's a setting in Witcher 3 called Just the Story, and that's one I wa really wanted to try to do, but, um... Just because I like Just the Story. How does that, how does that make it harder? What I was saying was, uh... Um... Right now, they just throw these words out there. Soldier. It was capitalized, so I'm assuming... Who knows? Um, and then Sanctum. I'm like, what? What the hell is Sanctum? At this point in the game, like, what are you doing trying to stop the purge? Why don't you tell me that? I was a soldier. Purge. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, and they mentioned Lacy earlier. The reason I never got into this game is because I had no idea what they were talking about. Lacy, Falsy, what uh, you know. Chocobo, we just can't catch a break, can we? Hmm. I might switch it. I might switch it back just to normal anyway. When we get down here, I'll I'll go to it. I'm getting too old for this. Okay. What I do remember about this is the controls of moving around is really peculiar. It, I really wish you could control the camera more than you do, and I wish there was easier to just walk. Because you run so stinking fast. Yeah, you just like, you know. I don't get it. Um, I want to change that. Um. Okay. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll read that later. Okay, I'm actually gonna save. Um, it is a little bit stuttery right now on my end. So I'm going to actually run this game in 720p. I'm running it in 1080, but I'm streaming in 720, so it really doesn't matter. Um, okay. I will be doing that really quickly. Oh, I might have to change the... Is it gonna come up right? Nope. <laughs> okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Seamless. That was seamless. Except, wait, <laughs> come on. Why did it switch? Audios. Hey, thank you for putting up with my uh, technical difficulty here. Why did it switch? Okay, whatever. a mess is what this is. Okay, cool. Hey, oh no. Can I shop for stuff? Unicorn Mart. Oh, I have a million of those. Never mind, I don't need any of them. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, that makes sense. That's just basic. Can I run away from them? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, whatever. Alright. 
That was, went quickly. Nice. Great. Isn't there something right here? Yeah. What's that? What do you suppose this is? The army leaving its toys out now? Okay. See, you know what was cool? There was a there was a uh, game I started playing called Earthlock that it was a similar uh, action. It was a similar battle system to this, to where um, there are just people running around, whatever, on the uh, on the uh, map and everything. But if they start to attack you, if you hit A quick enough, it'll I'll just let them. Um, it'll let you have a preemptive. But, if you try to, um, if you try to run past them, then it just, um, what does it do? They'll get a preemptive on you, or a back attack. I don't know what it called it in that game. Um, I want to say it was back attack. I don't remember. It's actually a really cool game, uh, Earthlock. I got it for free with the games with gold. Okay, cool. Is there anything to get here? Like it or not, I'm sticking with you. Okay, this might just be a poorly optimized game, because it's been like this, and I'm not even I'm not pinned I'm not even close to pinning in the pinning my uh, CPU now that I'm at seven twenty P. You're something I can pick up. Because treasure chests are just... <laughs> Let's see if I have to run them. Huh. Yeah, I... I have trouble with my, uh... I have trouble with my, um... Not wanting to get purged. With games that are... Taking on train soldiers? Uh, better to die than get sent to Random them. battles shouldn't feel like chores. And I... Too bad, this place ain't exactly paradise. Sounds like a chore. Peacekeepers. Nothing to worry about. Maybe not... <coughs> I'm trying to say... Hey, hey, hey! Want more of the story. <laughs> it's up here. Oh yeah. Yay, two potions. So now I have eighteen. Great. He's another save point. There's like an official uh, speed run for this. Oh, here we go. There's like an official speed run uh, strat for this. This whole game. I know there's one for seven. Seven is probably the most commonly speed ran. Speed run. Speed ran. Um, I'm not in speed run. Not at all. I'm actually really bad at stuff like that. That goes along with my uh, my aversion to things that involve a lot of gameplay. 
or a lot of learning curves in gameplay. You know, it's... it... I don't know. Preemptive strike! Surprise. Item usage. Okay, cool. I don't really need that. I think what I mostly have or an, an, a preference to I have a preference to uh games that, with the battle system, it's menu-based, but strategy, all strategy. Whereas right now, I mean, at, at this point in the game at least, I don't know how it turns out later, but at this point, I can just quite literally... Okay, Saz. I wanted to run up those stairs! Just we do. Quiet. Hey, hey, hey! Wait! No, no, don't leave me! Let go! No, you're my only way out of here! Why is he the character he is? Of course, we have a lot of dogs to attack. Hey, this way. Come on. hey, we got a pincer attack. Let me guess, that's a tutorial here. No, it's not. Never mind. Alright. Blitz, because they're so close, you can attack more than one, right? Isn't that what that is? Uh-oh, Saz is hurt. Potion? Oh, no, you gotta put it on all allies, I guess, then. Aha, there we go. Look at that. It's almost like I've played RPGs before. JRPGs. Oh yeah! What are you doing? Saw's move. Seems to be in working order. Oh, safe. Yay! Alright. Oh shoot, I started it. Oh, I hate that. Why don't you put... Now I have more than... I. Also, why is it not telling me which uh, buttons to press on the OK, Close, Delete at the bottom there? It's weird. OK, well, let me... Why doesn't it show up? X, Restore Defaults. We'll do that, and then we'll fix this. How about... Controller settings? Nope, didn't come up with anything. That's all right. Whatever. Whatever. Jump. Jump. Activate. Activate what? So, Tamunky. 
do I... I think I know you from uh, Death's stream. I feel like. I feel like we've definitely watched Necrosis mod together. Deportees, are we? Weapons down. I hate for this to turn ugly. Uh, turn ugly? He wants to kill us without a fight. Let me... let me do something. It was really quiet. Alright, cool. Okay, I guess I do sort of like this battle system a lot. I enjoy that that you can um oh nice. I enjoy that you can uh I enjoy how realistic seeming it is. It's not it's not turn based. But there's, um, it is indeed, um, I'm saying, man, I'm tired. Um, but you can't control your person either. All it does is like, it does some type of realistic movement that you'd think you'd probably be doing if you were in a battle. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. What? Classified military info? Huh? What's the matter? You did, didn't you? Well, did you think I'm gonna go out there and just tell everybody your secrets? See. My angle. I'm after the foul sea. After the foul sea. Okay. So, definitely have some government, uh, government corruption. These people need heroes. 
Oh boy. The army's no match for Nora. That's a that's a great motto. Well, I do care. Save. I'll just do a new one every single time, apparently. That's what we'll do. Oh, yeah, in case I miss something major, they can, uh... Nice. Aha! Is that a preemptive? No, it's not. How about this? Yeah, let's fight with fists, because that's exactly how it would... <laughs> that's exactly the most, uh... <laughs> Never mind. That's the most useful way to do it. Snow. Yeah, this, uh... There's, there's very little to understand at this point. I could read the data logs. I'll probably read them after this. Was not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Alright, data logs. Jeez. Enemy intel. What's that? What's that about? Jeez. Gosh, there's so much. That's crazy how much there is to this stinking thing. Area maps. Okay, I already read that. Data log. Cool camera settings. Great, I duh. Perfect. Uh, let me. Oh, I don't want to. I I hate notification. Hello, Mash. How are you? It's nice to see you again. Sorry, I didn't. Um, I I was watching through my stream last time, and I saw it, it came up with the SpongeBob thing when people follow, and I just missed it. And I don't think the sound came on. 
but thank you for the follow. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, okay. I really... History and Myth. There we go. Pulse. Okay. Cool. Resting in cocoon, Cocoon's shadow, the sprawling and enigmatic lower world of Pulse is home to a multitude of terrors. The land is commonly believed to be inhospitable to human life, and a strict ban on interworld travel forbids the citizens of Cocoon from venturing there to challenge the hypothesis. Not even members of Sanctum's upper ec ech echelon, echelon can claim to have seen the surface with their own eyes, but the attempted invasion by the world's savage armies several centuries ago is, is well documented. Widespread fear of repeated assault persists among the populace even today, with colloquial references often likening the world to a manner of living hell. Okay. So, Cocoon is basically a... A sanctuary type of thing. So they're de they're like a sanctuary and all. They um, and it's above the planet Pulse. Pulse is a sort of hell, literally hell, basically, as far as these people know. But who knows? Thirteen, day thirteen, exile. A falci of Pulse origin was discovered within a vesti vestige vestige on the outskirts of Bottom two days previously. Having apparently spent centuries in hibernation with humans none the wiser to its presence, the Sanctum deemed the potential contamination by pulse magic a risk too great to overlook, and immediately enacted legislation permitting the purge and involuntary removal of the Fal Sea and the entire population of Bottom from Cocoon. Deportees were told only that they would be transported to Pulse. So they exiled people to basically hell? Chapter 1. Okay. Which one's first? This one? Oh, jeez, there's so much stuff here. I'm probably gonna, honestly, I'm probably gonna read all of this. Um, the peaceful citizens of Cocoon live in constant fear of invasion by forces of Pulse, the world below and supposed home of terrors unknown. Were even a single Pulsian agent to be discovered on Cocoon, panic and civil unrest would be sure to follow, threatening the very fabric of society. To prevent such a calamity, the Sanctum, Cocoon's governing body, initiates the Purge, a government initiative officially entailing the deportation of all of those who may have come in contact with corrupting Pulsian influences. However, the Sanctum Army is now brutally slaughtering the civilians they were supposed to be deporting. Realizing that the Purge is nothing more than a massacre in disguise, Snow leads the young freedom fighters of Nora in an effort to protect Purge deportees from Sanctum soldiers. Okay. This makes a lot more sense, actually. Suspect citizens of Cocoon are wrenched from their tranquil existence and threatened with exile to the world of Pulse. The purge has begun. The land below is said to crawl with unknown perils, and terrified civilians begin to rebel, rebel against the purge. A revolt also occurs on the train, transporting purge deportees, and Lightning's battle against the guards galvanizes the other prisoners into action. That's what brings these people together. They were all technically deported. Deported. Sound familiar? Um, no. <laughs> Um, but they were basically exiled to Pulse, and this is all just a rebellion against that. Okay, cool. Um, we're wrenched, the purge has begun, land below, prisoners in action, the train has come to a halt in the hanging edge, and now hellish war zone where so soldiers open fire indiscriminately upon civilians. Lightning makes her way through middle of conflict, enduring her invite uninvited companion, Saz. She seems determined to press onwards even when the path before her is destroyed by military strikes. Oh. Whoops, I'm reading backwards, but that's okay, they're different. Okay, purge, train... Okay, that makes, makes perfect sense. Saz tries to figure out her angle. Uh, former soldier throws herself into battle. What could be driving her? I don't know. Cool, locales. Jeez. From her lofty seat, the world of Cocoon has long enjoyed tranquility. The interior of her spherical shell... Sorry, this is boring. I'm just, I just want to read through all of this. I think during this playthrough, because this game is so misunderstood as being a bad game, this has a lot to do with it. This. That. That. Um, because it's it's about... You just have to read so much in this game to, to understand it. 
Although a variety of dangerous beasts prowl the wilds, advanced technology, and the protection of the world's Falcian keepers ensure residents a peaceful and prosperous existence. Mm, travel to the lower world of Pulse is forbidden, but given their deep-seated cultural fears of the place, Cocoon citizens would not even think to venture beyond the paradise they know. Hanging edges near Cocoon's outer rim, urban center. Cool, there's war there. Alright. Let's go! Blah. Why did I... I don't know what I'm doing. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Um. It's... There's... There, I... The biggest issues with this game, from what I've heard... I, this is, I've, I played the first couple hours of it already, and I, di I didn't get into it. But then I listened to literally about eight hours of a discussion from uh, people on Dark Pixel Gaming. Mike did a whole entire big uh, discussion of this game, because he liked it, but it was misunderstood. Well, he didn't... It's interesting, it's just such a mixed feeling towards this game, because it was done poorly as far as gripping people. It could have been much better, but it wasn't. I think this game is really poorly optimized, because I'm, I'm getting a lot of stutters here. I don't know. Alright. Ooh, what's this? You all okay? What are you doing? Don't worry. No one's moving to Pulse today. We'll clear you a path out of here, so be ready Wait, to- Wait! Let me fight yeah, with you! You can't expect us to just sit here! <laughs> Could help. Yep. Please, let us help! <laughs> okay then. Volunteers front and center. So all of these men and women and children were being forced to go to Pulse, an uninhabitable place by the government. So, what's this, uh... Mom? Don't worry. Huh? So I just... Hold it steady. Yeah, yeah it feels good. Yeah, nice. Can you show me again? You got it. That's how it works. Sure? Yeah. Moms are tough. Right. It's the last one, boss. All right, last one. Somebody take it. Yeah. <laughs> It's almost like that's a character we're gonna know. First impression of snow, all right. No, there's a narration over that. We'll clear out the area. We're going home together. Yeah. Everybody up. Cheer. It's, man, the voice acting was really good in this, but I think the direction of a lot of it was was what's weird. Time to go, kiddo. <laughs> All right. We're not losing to Psycom, you hear me? All right, we're saving here. Save. 
Cool. All right. Purge is a sanctum initiative designed to protect the stability of Cocoon by forcing potentially dangerous civilians to relocate to Pulse. However, the relocation is simply a facade to cover the massacre that ensues. The government's true goal is the brutal extermination of all possible threats to a peaceful society. Having discovered the horrific truth, Snow leads the members of Nora against the government soldiers of Psycom. Inspired by the actions of, the ha of this handful of brave young men and women, the beleaguered Wow, this is a very wordy writing, I've noticed. Um, in spite of the actions of this handful of brave young men and women, the beleaguered civ civilians take heart and join the battle, of battle in hope of returning to a normal life. Among the citizens who stand against the forces of Psycom is a mother who wishes for nothing more than to protect her son. Jeez, there's so much stuff. How is there so much stuff? What? I don't want to read all of it. No, I'll just, I'll, whatever. As long as I'm understanding. Oh, hey there. I don't want to attack you. Go away. Cool. Oh, whatever. Oh, no, I want to run by you. I'm running by it. Shoot. Darn it! like this song, but also I've heard it a lot already, and I've only played the game for 30 minutes now. Alright, cool. Run, run, run. Heroes. Alright, let's see. Okay, you look impossible to defeat, but Snow's just gonna punch you with his fists and he'll be great he'll be great. Whoa, that hurt us a lot. Give me a nice bonk on the nose. Alright. I wish there was I wish there was more to do in the battles here. I'd really like it if Final Fantasy X Ugh, what the heck? That ended at a funny time, with snow literally just in the air. Cool. Oh, good job, Snow. Real champ. I told you, didn't I? Moms, Moms are tough. 
I was really... I... I like her character. Devastation. Dozens and dozens of... I don't know. This is very dark. These FMVs are beautiful. It's such a dark moment. Ugh. I don't like it. Well, I mean, I do. But I also don't. all the way to Pulse. Why not just stamp it out here? Execution, masquerading as exile. That's all the Purge ever was. It makes sense. Relocation to Pulse. How does the government get away with pulling crap like that? And you, you knew this was gonna happen? The Purge was PSYCOM. Private Sanctum troops, not the Guardian Corps. Psych okay, so PSYCOM is a an unknown word to me, but I could read the data log and I would know that. Guardian Corps? Hell if I know what that is, at this point at least. Psychom, Guardian Corps. Soldiers are soldiers, aren't they? Pulse foul C. And their lassie, our enemies of the state. Tell a soldier to kill an enemy, and you really think it's gonna matter what uniform he's wearing? Might have mattered to that one. Couldn't shoot. Got himself shot instead. How about you? Hmm? Or to say shoot, you pull the trigger? Fine. Forget I asked. Okay. Okay. Myrmidon, right? That's a cool name for an enemy. Alright, well, I... I'm liking this a little more now that I've read. I... Th I th Oh, wait, Saz is almost dead. Uh oh. Oop. Yeah, so it's. I... 
has potential. This game has such potential. I think that's what's so unfortunate about it. I think if they do a remake, not remaster, but a remake, this does not need a remaster. This is absolutely beautiful, especially for the for the um how uh recent of a game or how not recent of a game it is. I think this came out in I want to say 2010, nine or ten. I know who Sarah is, but Just what you were looking at for. that point, yeah. the hell Sarah? Right in there. The post file C. Huh. Too playful. It's too much, isn't it? Face it later. Ciao. Hey, wait. I think his voice is a little bit too old. is different from the sanctums. All things being equal, I'd just as soon keep one of them. Time to jump. Yeah, no. Hey, hey! Hey, hang on! <laughs> what the? Hey! I don't totally understand her yet. She can do it, so can we. <laughs> Man, I'd be scared. That would be so <laughs> that would be ridiculous to even do. Man. Come on, come on. What about the others? They didn't die. They couldn't have died. Of course not. Ooh. Hey, get a grip, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry. Get him home. Get who home? <gasps> oh, um. Tell me that. Very exciting moment. Because I got 
I think it was delivered today, which is really weird. Um, I got my... My new, uh... Capture device for AV inputs. So I can play my, uh... I can have my old systems and stream some old games. Really exciting. I'm hoping the quality isn't horrible, though, because it was a pretty cheap thing. But yeah, really exciting that I got that going now. I, so I can play my, like, uh... I really wanted to play some N64 on here and all that stuff. That'd be great. What are you doing? So what are you afraid of, huh? You're supposed to be the hero. <laughs> She's waiting there, ain't she? Your lovely bride-to-be? Isn't it about time you picked her up? Yeah. <laughs> There's our ride. <laughs> now you're talking. Data log was updated. Let's read it. All right. History and myth. Okay, so Pulse Falci. Falci are an existence beyond human comprehension, possessed of incredible magic power. The ones responsible for con Cocoon's construction are protectors of humanity, but there are others of their kind as well, the Falci who dwell on Pulse and name themselves enemies of Cocoon. Humans who encounter Pulse Falci are cursed, being turned to Lissi and ordered to destroy Cocoon. It is for this reason the most ordinary citizens support the Purge. Anyone who may have come into contact with one of these Falci represents a dire threat. Let me let me look at that again. That's it's just it's so there's so freaking much to this story. There are others of their kind as well. Falci who dwell on Pulse. Name. Humans who encounter Pulse Falci. Okay, so the Falci from Pulse being turned into Lissy. What's Lissy? And ordered to destroy Cocoon. Okay. So the Purge sounds on paper like it'll be a okay thing. But, you know. Okay, events. Chapter 1. Cocoon's citizens have always been terrified of Pulse and the mysterious horrors that are said to stalk its hostile wastelands. Their fear is so great that if a Cocoon native were to even have the briefest, br br the briefest contact with Pulsian elements, former friends and neighbors would consider them corrupted and dangerous. In light of this fact, the Sanctum orders the purging of Bottom as... Or Bodum? Bodum. It's probably Bodum. Bodum. Purging of Bodum in an effort to remove all potentially pulse-tainted civilians. Accordingly, soldiers round up all those identified as candidates for relocation and inform them of their impending exile. However, SICOM, the elite arm of the Sanctum military, okay, good to know, then begins to massacre the helpless civilians. This prompts Snow to lead the people in a rebellion against the army. Tragically, one of the civilians who decides to follow him, hoping to protect her son, dies in the act of saving Snow's life. From afar, the boy witnesses the moment of his mother's death in shock and disbelief. The Falci awaits. A massive object is transported through the sky over the hanging edge. This object is a pulse vestige. Vestige? Vestige? A pulse something. A lower-world artifact that had been nothing more than a Bodum landmark. Two days ago, it was discovered that the Vestige housed a long, dormant pulse falci. The falci had slumbered undisturbed on the outskirts of a cocoon city for centuries. The Sanctum decrees that the presence of the pulse entity and its corrupting magics have tainted the entire population of the city and orders the purge. Okay... That makes sense. For different reasons, Lightning and Saz both make their way towards the very beginning. That was the catalyst for so much tragedy. Snow, meanwhile, is crushed by feelings of guilt after many die under his command. 
He only emerges from his gloom when Godot reminds him that the Foul Sea is holding a certain young lady captive who needs her hero now more than ever. That's Sarah. Okay, cool. Great. Is there a way to save? Can I save back here? I hope everyone's all right. No, there's nothing. Whatever. Hey, power circle. Whatever that is, it's probably like sources on uh, Final Fantasy VII. All right, cool. Oh, what are these? I want get to get rid of these aerial things first. Here, we'll do a hand grenade. Look at that. Boom. Literally. Boom. Um, cool. Do I have unlimited grenades? I think I do. Yay! Get wrecked. Get wrecked, brothers! Cool. Let me look at Cocoon Society. So Nora, the para paramilitary organization known as Nora is a group of composed of is a group composed of like-minded youths assembled by Snow and self-funded by the operation of a seaside cafe in Bodum. Functioning as a neighborhood watch of sorts, Nora members patrol the vicinity of Bodum for trouble. Most often, trouble consists of encroachment by dangerous forms of wildlife. Nora had never openly acted out against the Sanctum prior to the purge, and because of this, the military had been content to turn a blind eye to the group's activities. Amp technology? Oh, oh, cool. I actually know what she's doing now, because that was never explained. Um, antimatter manipulation principle forms the foundation for a variety of technological wonders, enabling phenomena ranging from phase space interference to the manipulation of gravitational force. Humans ordinarily lack the means to wield magic, but through the use of ma mana drives, another product of the principle, it is possible to synthesize its effects. Cool. Okay, so I know what she's doing now. Bioweapons. Oh, like this dude. The Sanctum has developed a vast arsenal of weaponry to defend against the constant threat of Pulse, and these living weapons are one of the many fruits its research had borne. Ordinary cocoon wildlife transformed into efficient killing machinery through selective breeding, intense training, and physical augmentation, bioweapons retain all the raw power and feral fury of their natural counterparts while obeying the commands of their handlers with unwaveringly, unwavering loyalty. Psycom, this is the one I actually really wanted to hear. Alright. The Sanctum military is composed of two main branches, the Guardian Corps responsible for maintaining security in various jurisdictions throughout Cocoon, and SICOM, Public Security and Intelligence Command. Cool. SICOM is an elite special operations unit charged with protecting Cocoon from Pulsian incursion. In contrast to the lightly armed Guardian Corps, SICOM employs an array of advanced heavy weaponry and cruiser-class airships. As SICOM bears responsibility for any and all threats of Pulse origin, it was SICOM who conducted the Purge. Okay. The Purge! To the millions who call Cocoon home, the lower world of Pulse represents a constant source of fear. Sus suspects, suspected association with Pulse means stigmatization as an enemy of the state and all mankind, even for born and raised citizens of Cocoon. The recent discovery of a foul sea from Pulse near the city of Bodum caused wise, widespread civil unrest. After placing the city's entire population under quarantine due to the possibility of contamination, the Sanctum then announced its intent to forcibly relocate the affected 
the affected, to pulse in an emergency measure dubbed by authorities as the Purge. The Sanctum. These are the ones I don't know anything about. Okay, that's somebody I never saw before. Cocoon central government, the Sanctum, holds supreme executive, legislative, and judicial power. It also maintains directive authority over the military. Despite the fact that Cocoon was built by the Falci and not by the humans, Falci opt to participate only superficially in governmental affairs, leaving Cocoon's administration entirely at the discretion of the human Sanctum and its primarch, Galanth Disley. Disley? Disley. 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 Okay. Cool. That makes sense. I like it. I like it. Well, I don't... I, I, yeah, I like it. Cool. Alright, let's see. Get out. Don't go rushing in on your own. Yay, thing. Open! Potion. Oh, no. Yay, Gil! Oh, this way. <laughs> I want every weapon ready to fire. Stay sharp. All right, on my go. Right. Go! Why does he use his fists? I don't get it. What is the point? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. Oh man. It's almost okay. I don't know that I don't know yet. But it almost seems like the The development of this game makes me think that they put things on the wrong... They're on the wrong... Their priorities were not in the correct spots for this game. I really don't think so. They didn't focus on... Um, I'll tell you what they did focus on. They focused on... Graphical integrity. The graphics in this are phenomenal. Phenomenal. And they focused on a deep, deep, deep backstory. But they didn't focus on explaining it to the consumer. I'm consuming this video game right now. I'm consuming its media. This media. Medium. No. Nevertheless, I'm consuming this video game. I'm, I'm listening to it. I'm doing all of that. But... They didn't explain a lot of it in the game. There's ways to explain things in video games. And they they just don't do it as well as they could, it seems like. I, I, I have to read this much just to figure out the stinking game? You know, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. That's a sad All right. Godot. Yeah? If you don't know who you've got to save, you just protect them all, right? <laughs> Something on your mind? You got plenty of time for thinking on the way, hero. Hero. Again. Yeah. Don't shoot. 
snow. <laughs> Since when do you care about kids? Favor for a friend. Okay. Hey, snow. You made it. Hey, yo. Whew. So, hey. you really managed to use that thing? <laughs> I think I'm done. You're done when we are. Ow, what? <laughs> That's the one. Didn't you have something to tell him? Yeah. All right then. But I. Hurt. I'll go with you. What? <laughs> I was always conflicted about her character. So like, okay, okay. I I don't know her name in the purple there. She looks like a Mortal Kombat character, and I don't remember who it was. I feel like it's someone that always wears the mask. I can't remember her name. <laughs> she looks like Mortal Com a Mortal Kombat character. Um, I don't know. Vestige. That's what it's called. Vestige. You go skirt chasing. I take care of the kids. Some husband. Dinner's on me. Better be home cooking. When's the wedding, lover boy? Don't worry. None of you are invited. We're still going. You serious? What about me? Catch you later. Hmm. All right. Oh wait, I want to save. Save. All right. You know, I'm gonna call it there. I only streamed for about really only about an hour hour and ten minutes of this game, but I really think I'm gonna... Uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna keep going with this. I really enjoy it so far. So, um, I will definitely be on again sometime, probably soon. Monday night maybe I'll do, I'll do one? Monday or Tuesday? Well, definitely Tuesday, but Monday night I might, or Monday during the day. I don't know. For sure, it's exciting. I hope to uh, hope to see some of my uh, some some people again. Hope to uh, have a good turnout. I guess you could say, maybe not. Nevertheless, goodbye YouTube, and goodbye Twitch. I'll see you next time I see you. Peace and love.